Welcome back. Here is the next installment of the official of the official audio video book series, book number one. Once again, all science and material is copyright March 17, 2000, by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the science comics, except for my, myself, that may seem similar, similar to anyone in real life or fiction, are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. In this case, it's a little bit parodic. So anyway, book number one. Sonic is standing by Sonic's shoe, and Sonic says, Is that supposed to be a clone? Unfortunately, Sonic, yes. Chemical X? No, oh, Cherry Cola. What's wrong with you? This is the, this is not the Powerpuff Girls. Episode 4, introducing Black Sonic shoe in Darkness, Speed, and Lightning, with an accidental chose Cherry Cola. Over in the, the, uh, in the house of Nate Sirk and his adopted father, Giovanni, Giovanni talks to Nate Sirk, and Giovanni says, Nate Sirk, even though you have lost your battle with that hedgehog, Sonic Chew, I am proud that you were able to obtain a sample of, it, of his DNA. Then I, I then locate the base of Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik, and needless to say, after I showed him the photo of that Pokemon, he was astounded, and we shook an agreement of Dr. Robotnik re reconstructing the DNA machine that was found on New Island. Soon... We will have a science you of our own to send out and defeat the original. Nate, sir, our victory is assured. Or I am not Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the underground lab, the uh, scientists are putting to get putting it all together. We got Sanchez's DNA next to a can of cherry cola. Anyway, we got the main scientist working on it, uh, and then another scientist says, "Hey, Bill." Bring me the DNA. Bring the DNA sample to the machine. Okay. Oops. He hits the. He hits. Hits the can of cherry cola. It spills into the uh, DNA. Uh oh. Oh well. Then he puts the sample in the thing. And then he takes it to the machine. And he puts it in the machine. Then the then the machine initiates analyzing data, adding input data. Pokemon identified. Beginning cloning sequence. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe it's a liquid, but this side you looks black to me. Attention, attention. This is an audio record addressed only to the side you in the tank. You are a side you. You obey only Giovanni and his son Nate Sirk. Hmm, side you, Nate Sirk. You are dark, evil, and very powerful. When awakened, you will seek and fight your original counterpart. Mm, powerful counterpart. What information are these fools trying to brainwash into me? Yeah, I'll do whatever I please, but I'll play along. So now, everybody is standing around the capsule with the hedgehog in it, and Giovanni says, "Well, Robotnik, here's the result of our of your skills and our genius. What is your opinion?" It reminds me of another creature I released years ago, but I'm sure this side shoe is much stronger. Boss. I bring the brainwaves of the Pokemon, and they're racing. Well, then let's release them. I agree. Let's drain the fluid and raise the tube. Yes, sir. I'm not sure, but he looks black to me. Oh, well, he'll still shock the hedgehog. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop. <laughs> wow, he is black. Well, I'll just call him Black Science you. That's fine with me. But let's shorten that to black shoe. Deal? Huh? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, deal. My name is Nate Sirk. I am your master. This is my, my father, Giovanni. Do not cross him. And that's Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Black Sancho. Mine as well. Please accept these rocket boosters as your first birthday present. <laughs> and so Black Sancho gets his rocket boosters. They increase his speed. Anyway... Nate Sirk approaches Black, Black Sancho, puts his hand across his shoulder, and he says, Come, Black Shoe, and we will brief you to your mission, birth, and training. Then three hours later in a briefing room, lights on. So, Black Shoe, if you have any questions, please ask now, says Giovanni. Yes, sir, replies Black Sancho. So, if I was cloned from Sancho's DNA, shouldn't that make him my father? Also, why am I black and not yellow? And Giovanni replies, Astounding questions, Black Shoe. And with all due respect, I would not refer to Sancho as your father, more as your brother. 
but do not ever look up to him. And as my scientist Bill reported, he spilled some cherry cola onto your DNA strands. The red and black chemicals must have overridden the brown and yellow pigment. Any other questions? Robotnik comes in and he, and, he, and he says, Giovanni, I searched on the internet and I found data on science you from the Pokemon database. Well, let's see it. Hmm, I'm reading over the papers. Hmm. Apparently it was reported to Professor Oak by a Pokemon trainer named Cal. Cal. Excellent, Robotnik. Now we can compare these statistics with Blast Science Shoes and make him much stronger than, and faster. What's this on the other page? Oh, Debbie Rose Chew. Also an electric hedgehog Pokemon. I also learned that she is Science Shoes' girlfriend. Oh, so perfect! Now we have the plan to lure Science Shoes into our trap. After training our Blast Science Shoes, he will kidnap Rose Chew. <laughs> Good work. Now make a machine to drain Science Shoes' power, Dr. Robotnik. Yes, sir. <laughs> Training days. Dun, 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 dun. Speed test. Go. Uh oh. Shoot! You got my clothes. And I'm cut to cover myself in this tree. That swooped over with this much speed. Strength tench. Breaks to brick wall. Destroy twenty tons. Spin dash test. Results, 200 rotations in a minute. Target practice. Pew, bing, pew, bing, pew, bing. Result, 99.5% accurate. And the result of the speed test was 200 kilometers an hour. The scientist comes in later and, uh, get, and reports to Giovanni Robotnik. Here are the records, re results you requested, sir. Excellent, says Giovanni. And in comparison, both of them have equal special attack, special defense, hit points, and speed. But the black Sanchu has one attack power stronger over Sanchu, and Sanchu has stronger as one point defense stronger over black Sanchu. Well, they seem similar, but black Sanchu has greater strength. Yes, it looks like he's ready for the mission. I agree. <laughs> over, over, over the loudspeaker. Attention, black Sanchu. Please report to my office immediately. It's time for your mission, says Giovanni. The black science you think so. so. <sighs> I guess my training is complete. It's time to en prepare to encounter my brother Sonichu. To be continued in the next video.